Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. Ladies, it's time to pick your march. This weekend, we have two marches in Washington, D.C. The March for Life on Friday, and then on Saturday, the Women's March. Both of these marches claim they champion women, but only one actually does. One march, the March for Life, has a bipartisan schedule of speakers lined up, Republican and Democrat congressmen, plus the niece of Martin Luther King Jr. The other march, the Women's March, not so much bipartisan. The Women's March disinvited pro-life women who wanted to sponsor the original march, and their lineup of speakers palled around with a convicted murderer and terrorist named Razmea O'Day, who bragged about killing Israelis because they're Jewish. One march, the March for Life, fights against racism, especially the racism of Planned Parenthood, who accepted donations to fund abortions of black babies specifically because those babies are black. The other march, the Women's March, embraces and refuses to condemn racism against Jews and white men. The leader of the Women's March, Tamika Mallory, would not condemn Louis Farrakhan, even after Farrakhan said Adolf Hitler was a very great man. One march, the March for Life, believes in science. Science, which says life begins at conception, and that an unborn baby is as much of a human as you or me. The other march, the Women's March, denies science and lies to women, tells women that unborn babies are just clumps of cells, even though that's a lie. One March, the March for Life tells women, we are women, hear us roar. There is no circumstance in which we cannot rise to the occasion. Even if it's a surprise pregnancy, we are here to help you. The other March, the Women's March, doesn't believe in you. As a woman, doesn't believe you can handle a surprise pregnancy. That March tells you, you can't do it. You're not enough, you're not strong enough. You need abortion or you will fail. One March, the March for Life, represents public opinion in America, where 75% of your fellow Americans believe there should be significant restrictions on abortion. The other March, the Women's March, stands on the fringe with the radicals, with less than 10% of people in our country who think it's okay to abort a baby for any reason up until the moment before that baby is born. One March, the March for Life, stands up for all women, no matter their race, no matter their religion, no matter their circumstance or their economic background or their age or their stage of development, that march stands up for life. The other march, the Women's March, pretends they speak for all women, while at the same time they reject Christian women, conservative women, pro-life women, Jewish women, Trump-supporting women, unborn women, and any woman who dares to disagree with their radical far-left abortion at all costs anti-science agenda. Ladies, pick your march accordingly. As for me, I will always march for life. And that is my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at OANN.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.